Gunfire erupts at a southeast Portland apartment building Friday. When it was all done, two people were dead, a third fighting for life, and a suspect on the loose. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5.30. I'm Chris Holmstrom. The crime itself was tragic, but it could have been much worse. Coin 6 has now learned a baby was in that apartment when the bullet started to fly. This all happened late last night at an apartment complex near Southeast 85th and Division. Jennifer Dowling has been following this story for us. She joins us live at the scene with an update. Jennifer. That's right, Chris. This is where it happened in this home right to my left that's surrounded by this tall black fence. Now, we learned just this afternoon from police the survivor of the gunfire remains in critical condition tonight in the hospital, unable to tell them exactly what happened at this time. And as you said, amazingly, the baby that was in this home at the time that many were shot and hurt was actually okay. Now, moving on to the man and woman that were killed, police are not releasing their names at this time. Those victims were in the home when the shooting happened. It's unknown at this point how they are related to the baby that survived. The Department of Human Services will work with uh, information they have available to locate if there's family around, uh, unknown the relationship of the baby to the two deceased and or the male in the hospital at this point. Um, obviously, you know, the, the concern would be is that this is family and they've been uh, injured and killed and so uh, very sensitive to that fact. Thankful the baby was uninjured um, and hope that we can try to reunite the baby with some family. Police still don't have definite details about the shooter either. They're hoping witnesses who may not have talked to them as of yet will come forward. They're also hopeful the victim in the hospital again will be able to fill in some of the details about the shooting after he recovers from those critical injuries. And so far, Pete Simpson, the spokesperson for police, says there is no motive in this case. However, they're checking into leads, hoping to find out if there were any business disputes or any relationships that might have led to this shooting. We'll have more on this coming up. Tonight at 5. Reporting live, Jennifer Dowling, back to you.